Lena's Rules, written by retired NYPD detective Ken Comer. Exterior Jewish Cemetery, early morning. Upright granite headstone. Fourteen stones on top of headstone. Star of David. Hannah Ashberg, June 6, 2007. Baby Girl's Photo, November 25, 2007. Beloved Daughter, Forever in My Heart. Detective Lena Ashberg, 45, a Sephardic Jew, compassionate with razor-sharp tongue. Anchored in front of the upright granite headstone, eyes glassy and red, a stone in her hand. She carefully places the stone next to the other 14 stones. Lena slowly kneels down and takes out a handkerchief. She wets it on her tongue, then cleans the dirt off her daughter's photo. She kisses two fingers and touches the photo with the two fingers. Tears begin to stream down her face. Interior Police Precinct, Detective Squad's Office, Day. Lena hurries into an active squad's office. Detective Paz Melendez, Hispanic, late 20s, politically savvy, community advocate, approaches Lena. Lena, I know. It's Hannah's birthday. Lena looks at Paz with sad red eyes. She grabs his arm. They move over to Lena's neatly organized desk. She would have been 15 today. Lena closes her eyes. She exhales, then slowly opens her eyes. Lena grabs a fax off her desk from Children's Services and begins to pour over it. She momentarily glances over at Paz, just as he snatches a set of car keys off his desk. Disdain covers his face. It's one of your pet peeves from your buddy at Children's Services. Hook up a radio. I'll drive. Interior Lieutenant Mann's office, day. Lena knocks, then opens the office door. Detective Squad Supervisor Lieutenant Hugh Mann Jr., mid-30s, conservative. He's engaged in a conversation with Deputy Chief Hugh Mann Sr., late 50s. Deputy Chief Mann looks over at Lena. Detective, I'm leaving. Come in. Thanks, Chief. Lena enters the office. Keep studying for the captain's test. Your mother would have been as proud of you as I am. You're the man she knew you would be. That means the world to me, Dad. Deputy Chief Man Sr. hugs Lieutenant Man, then smiles at him. Chief Man starts to walk out of the office. He stops, then turns around with a big smile covering his face. Try and get some grandchildren before I kick off. Lieutenant Man laughs. <laughs> <laughs> I'll work on it. Deputy Chief Man steps out of the office. Lieutenant Man turns around and stares at a newly framed newspaper clipping and photo, now on the wall behind his desk. Lena also stares at the clipping and photo. The headline reads, Deputy Chief Hugh Man Sr. awards Lieutenant Hugh Man Jr. the MVP trophy at the charity hockey game. Your dad has high hopes for you. That's a lot of pressure, LT. Deep concern covers Lieutenant Mann's face. Uh, it's more pressure than you could ever know. Lieutenant Mann sits in a chair at his desk. He looks up at Lena. She glances over at the empty chair and desk across from Lieutenant Mann. What do you need? A radio. We're going out on a child abuse case. Is Sergeant Rosa going to retire after terminal leave? Lieutenant Mann looks over at the vacant desk. He's gone. They'll replace him when they get around to it. Lena grabs a radio from its base, then leaves the office.